Let me ask you. Let me ask you about something that just happened overnight, and ask you whether it's significant or whether it's an isolated incident. That is the resignation of Van Jones. He was the green job czar in the White House, an environmental advisor to the president. Before he came into the administration, he used some choice words about Republicans. Also signed a petition at one point that suggested perhaps the Bush administration senior officials allowed 9/11 to happen. He resigned. He finally went out. The White House had stood by him mutely for a couple of days. Here's Howard Dean again on the resignation of Van Jones. I know this guy, and I just talked to him about this, so I'd like to weigh in after yeah. John does. Well, yeah. I'm just going to say, you know, this guy's a Yale-educated lawyer. He's a, a best-selling author about his specialty. I think he was brought down. I think it's too bad. Washington's a tough place uh, that way. So, Trippy, as you know, this was the big driving cause on conservative talk radio last week. Now that they have forced one resignation, isolated incident, or will they keep gunning? Oh, they're going to keep gunning. I mean, uh, the... Look, this, this administration has the potential to be FDR or, or Jimmy Carter. And I think the Republicans are going to do everything they can to make him Jimmy Carter. I mean, to create a failed presidency. That's uh, unfortunately what, they, what many of them want. Um, and, I, I, and, and again, we have a, I really do believe a post-partisan president who's trying to work, work with everybody, but the Republicans aren't going to cooperate. He's got to understand that continue to be bipartisan call on the american people to support that but realize he's he's sticking his hand out and many republicans are just not going to are just not ready to to embrace it Pres presidents, Rollins, presidents don't come down by what uh, the opposition party and that's what we are we're an opposition party uh, there are many things that obama's offering that we don't believe in so why should we compromise on our principles you've got all the votes you can do whatever you want in the case of mr jones i don't know him all i can tell you is having been a white house person when you embarrass the president, as he has, and you become part of the focus, uh, when you should be talking about health care and other things, he did the right thing. He got out of there. But the more fundamental thing is there's 31 czars in that White House. Uh, this is a new job uh, that is crazy when you still have half the administration, presidential appointees are not filled, and we're almost a year into the administration. That's what they have to focus on, get people in there who can do the job, and not people who become competent.